Hey everybody, let your light shine. I got the Stevo. I'm here. I got Santa's behind right here. Hey, so it's been exactly two years, and I want to say the exact time frame as well that we arrived here in Vegas to look for homes because we showed up on Christmas Day. Yeah. And two years ago. Yes, we checked in at the Tropicana because it was cheap. And you know me, I even took the back tower because I, I didn't want to pay the extra 15 bucks to have the. Don't do that, by the way. It's quite a long walk, especially when it's a long day and you're like, oh crap, I gotta walk all the way to yeah, the you've been walking the South for Tower for two whatever hours, the hell it's and called. then you have to walk another 15 minutes to yeah. get to the back tower. Pay for the front tower, don't pay for the front. <laughs> yeah, because we also looked for homes that were not up to his standards, but I'm like, hey, I wanted enough to have money in the bank afterward. And it, anyway, so long story short, it's been two years. Now we're here in Henderson. Any regrets in moving, Steve-O? Any reg oh, none. Yeah, none either. No, even with this whole here. shutdown, even with all that's going on in the world, no, yeah. absolutely not. Anything I miss about Orange County? Gotta think about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, maybe the familiarity of knowing that I've lived there my whole entire life. So, we're in the front yard, by the way. Santa and cars and beeping and stuff. You might even get a neighbor. Maybe, Maybe. we'll get some wine again. Maybe I see his garage here. door open. We see how sit I out hear here and become the neighbors. So I hear voices. Maybe. You can hear voices as well. Anyway, um, no, we don't. There's, I mean, yeah, we're. It's I would great think our move. employment it was a great status. Move. I mean, things are there. Are things that are nice in California, but there are, things are great here. Our <laughs> employment <laughs> status back in California. I want to say we might have been screwed because I was a housekeeper and I would think that all of my clients would have canceled on me with this whole shutdown and your job, Jay's Catering, probably would have been, I don't know if they're open now. Uh, yeah, they're open now. And we had a mortgage, so we had Because they can do delivery, that. so they're still open. Oh, okay. So he might have been okay. I would have been screwed. Well, and I would have we been shut down for, we would have been shut down for a <laughs> while and they didn't let them but reopen for quite a while, so. Yeah. And it's a lot more shut down than Nevada is. So I don't, no, thank you. Actually, I still listen to iHeartRadio. I, I listen to KFI because I still love my Bill Handel. But I only get the LA News and Orange County News. I don't get Vegas News. I can't find a good Vegas channel. So if anybody knows of a good Vegas funny radio station with news involved, let me know because I can't find anything that matches Bill Handel. Anyway, I do get updates about California through them when I'm off. And I'm like, yeah, glad I don't live there anymore. So what else? I'm trying to think of other things that, um, so we went to the Tropicana, we met up with our, neighbor, our realtor, Nick, who showed us some homes and we had a good time. Then we hung out in Vegas and then we left. We only stayed like, including Christmas day. I think we let, we stayed three days max. So the third day we left. Then our house went up for sale in California in February. Um, and boom, like a week and a half, not even, a, no, less than a week it went. Uh, somebody already offered um, they wanted to buy it we're like oh snap so Steve-O came back out here with Nick the realtor and we were doing Zillow searches and we were watching other youtubers who were doing a lot of uh, you know walk arounds and stuff like that just to get a feel of what this place looks like because again I've lived in California my whole entire life born and raised in Anaheim so I am a snowflake so he came out here again came to this house he did a quick little video walk around um, so I could see what it looked like, kind of. I never, I didn't well, even see it Well, the first time I visited it, I really wasn't sold on it. Oh, really? Yeah. And oh. he says, well, why don't we go back to it and look at it? You know, because I wasn't really finding anything I really liked. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm so, going to um, Anyway, we, he says, well, let's go, let's go look at a couple again. He says, sometimes people look at it again. And the second time I looked at it, I go, oh, you know what? I mean, it's an older home, so you've got your acoustic yeah. ceilings, you've got your old windows. Yeah, so you we know, definitely have some upgrades new. that we have to pull off. But like our front it wasn't, yard, which I'm glad we did. I was, I was being overly critical the first time I saw it, but when the second time I saw it, I really, really got really excited. I was still worried because the asking price is a lot higher than Yeah, we than weren't gonna we were have any going money in spend. the bank after the, the sale of our condo. So I'm like, damn. I was hoping because we literally had quit our jobs with no job to come out here with. Like we had no trans. I, I, I worked for myself. I cleaned homes. I didn't. I knew nobody out here. <laughs> um, but surprisingly, I 
um, the firefighter, the firefighter I, I cleaned homes in Orange County, but he works out here in Vegas, which was really crazy that he travels every week out here to work. And so uh, another firefighter found out that he was losing his housekeeper because she was moving out to Henderson. He's like, dude, I live in Henderson. What's her number? <laughs> so I ended up getting a couple housekeeping jobs, um, but then that all shut down. With That's the only job actually that shut down with this whole shutdown was the housekeeping. But since I ended up full-time at the grocery store and I did my newsletter jobs, plus my blogging now, um, I'm busy. I'm too busy now, so I'm, like, I'm overwhelmed with that. So uh, the grocery store never closed down during this shutdown, as you know, as you, I, you saw my updates. Uh, Steve-O's work is still closed down, so he's still, he's still unemployed. I'm still the shooter <laughs> mama around here. <laughs> but you know how cheap I am, so we get by. Because yeah, you get by because you're a hard worker and you're cheap. Why, thank you. Kind of. So, yes, it's been two years. Yes, we've gone through a lot with the world changing on us right in front of our eyes. Um, but no regrets at all. I don't think I would have ever moved anywhere else. This is the next best thing as far as weather, even though it gets hotter than hell out here during the summer. But it's nice and chilly during the winter. Um, you know, coming from Orange County, you know, the weather's always the same pretty much all year round. So it would have been quite an adjustment if we moved back east where it snowed. I wouldn't know what the hell to do with snow. Like, what the hell? Do I have to shovel myself out every day? Hail to the no. Like, so I'm glad we moved out here. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. I was just thinking. Do you think that fan is annoying? I don't know. Do you guys think it's annoying? Uh, too bad. I'm sorry. It's going to be down. I guess it's too late now. It's We're be not down be by recorded. tomorrow. So, you know, everybody wants to see a Santa booty. <laughs> yeah, the booty, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the wind from his booty, not so much. He's smacking, smacking Santa's butt. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, well, Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, I want to say also Merry Christmas. I just wanted to update you guys that um, I think yeah, we did a year, a it's did a year two update years last year. We, first visited with the commitment to come out here so yeah but it was quite i'm not joking though it's quite a thing to do to quit your jobs with kids and come out here it's like what the hell you guys must have been desperately wanting to move out here yes we were like so at least i was i'm like i was miserable living in your belinda like miserable right yes yes i hated it like i wasn't catching the cue i i hated it like even today, I joke about when I look on Facebook and I see the posts that everyone does in your Belinda that I'm still on friends with. And I'm like, it's the same damn thing. Everyone's doing the whole model. Oh, my God, life's perfect. I can't do that. I like that people are real out here. I like just keeping it real. Look, I don't even wear makeup. I've got wrinkles. That's how I am. Like, I don't need to be fake and phony. So I just love it out here. It's just so much more down to earth. My channel grew so much more faster when we came out here. Like, it took me forever to even get... What I was just talking to, um, talking about this morning, like I, well, I don't want to jinx that, but I'm, I hit or almost hit 3,000 subscribers today. <laughs> kind of lost one, gained one, lost one, so it's kind of up and down right now. So um, hesitant to say it, you know, because it's a nice cushion when you're at like 3,025. But I would not even be close to that count if I still lived in Yorba uh, Linda or Orange County, wherever. So, um, I think I was only at. 500 maybe not even that when we moved out here and that was two years ago which we've talked about a million times but that took me about five years to even get to that point but as soon as I moved out here people um, other bloggers were willing to help each other out meet each other collab together it's amazing the differences on how people are so much more friendlier out here there is no agenda to being your friend uh, I just love it I, I wouldn't I would if I could take it all back I would say I would have moved out here a lot sooner than we did that's all I gotta say is that all yes <laughs> so I'm hoping all those who want to come out here I hope that my relocating vlogs help you guys because I relied on them but I didn't see a lot of them um, I did I did just see a lot of the walk around casinos and just I just wanted to kind of look at the skies and the trees and the grass and see what the traffic looked like but not a lot of people did a lot of those types and so that's why we do those for those who are wondering why the hell I do a drive tour and how boring that is. It's for people who want to see what it looks like out here and what the traffic is like out here. And that's why I mentioned the time frame when I'm going and, and um, the day I'm there, whatever. So I hope that helps all of those who want to move out here. And, um, and then we do all the other kind of stuff, just to historic stuff and yeah. fun things and yeah, I will food say, reviews. I mean, and we're not, I don't know. Um, 
Chrissy is really anti clickbait people. So that's probably why. It's, so um, I don't get a lot of views. <laughs> yeah, we need a little clickbait, <laughs> but um, but everything you're seeing is is stuff that we're interested in trying and or something that and, and that you've requested. So yeah. Um. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it, and we sure appreciate all your. We appreciate you. That's how we say here in Nevada. Yeah. Appreciate you. Is viewage a word? Is viewage? It could be. Okay. It is now. Yeah. All right. It's officially going in Webster's. All right, guys. Thank <laughs> you guys for watching. I hope you all have happy holidays. I don't know what you are celebrating today. Could be Christmas. Could be Hanukkah. Could be Kwanzaa. Could be Festivus for the rest of us. We don't know. But whatever it may be, <laughs> enjoy it. I know. I don't. I don't know Seinfeld like. 100%, but I know bits and pieces of that show, so that was always kind of funny, though. Yes. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, until then, bye. Happy holidays. Santa's booty.